So this patient's coming in for removal of a lesion that's been on the right upper aspect of his back for about 10 years. This is high, it's mobile, um, so we've marked the margins. This has been treated already with antiseptic, and this is, it's blanched so much because there's freezing inside it. On ultrasound, this has come back as a lipoma. Um, so we're just going to incise into this and dissect it down and then get that out for him. So no pain there at all? No. So this is number 15 blade. So again, we're looking at Langer's lines here. In the upper back, it changed a little bit. We're going to do a horizontal incision. So with lipomas, um, typically you should have very good freezing because there's nothing from an infected standpoint that's going to alter how this works. So what this shows us, this is where again I'm going to slow down. Like, yeah. It's not a lipoma. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a cyst. Mm -hmm. So the only difference this creates is, we'll have to slow this down a bit. So if it's a lipoma, because the way it's constituted, it's a lot simpler to take out. You don't have to worry about as much about getting the membrane out entirely intact, because the membrane is very thin and around the actual structure. For a cyst, however, we do want to make sure we get the entire capsule out. And this will unfortunately happen where they just make a missed call on the ultrasound. This makes my life a little bit more complicated. They know. <laughs> so essentially what I'll do with these is when the membrane's ruptured like this just at the apex, I'll kind of leave that alone. Because I want to dissect down in the areas where the membrane is still going to be intact, just because it'll be simpler. You're feeling fine? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling good. Just dab that down. So here I usually will head off at a slightly downward angle so I can get around this system, hopefully get down the hypodermis and then dissect back down around it. Now that's going to be difficult with these ones because it's of the size that it is. So you can see when I pick that up, these are just adhesions and that's what I'm actually just going to be dissecting mm -hmm. down through. So smaller ones, it's you'll get to a point where you can angle downwards to the, towards the hypodermis a lot quicker. Um, this one will be more difficult. Just the ends, I just sort of again, join that over like that. So in why these form in the first place, we've probably gone over that in other videos, um, but essentially they believe this is secondary to trauma. But actually, and we see that a lot of these up in this area where people either, you know, guys or girls do a lot of lifting, the actual bars coming across their back here, or if you do a lot of like driving or you do a work as a jitney driver, there's a lot of vibration and it's like driving cells from the superficial layer deeper than they should be.
<laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a cook. Oh, okay. Unless you're doing some violent cooking, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Where do you cook? I work at the bourbon up the road there. Oh, bourbon. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. It's a good place. Yeah, I know. I went a couple of times. And yeah, we both worked there. Actually, my girlfriend and I both worked Oh, work. yeah, you both worked there. Like to do for this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna swing around that way. Just back this off just a little bit rather. Right? So I just come around to this side to try to dissect this down a little bit. Just shift this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is just the sebum, this is the soft tissue component. I'm going to express a little bit of that. And I'm doing that, I don't want to break the membrane open completely, but just to shrink this down a bit so that I'm taking this out, it's a little bit simpler. Oops. <laughs> Let's clean that up there. Right So this is all membrane that you're seeing through there. So I'm just trying to dissect this off and get either around or behind it. Stab that there. Yeah, how are you feeling? You doing okay? Yep. So always warn patients with this, and this is the one downside of local anesthetic. Um, this has a good circumferential block, but when they go very deep, you sometimes have to add a little bit in because the posterior side, despite your best efforts, I'm just tracking down along adhesions here.
You're still doing okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Are you guys working in this couple of days? Mm, he's off until Monday. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made sure I had a couple of days off afterwards just in case. We have a toddler. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so not too much chasing. <laughs> That's not hurting? Nope. So you can see here at the back, we're getting into hypodermis. This is a fatty layer. This is what I want to see, so I can see we're getting all of that out. That's not hurting at all? Mm, yeah, I feel slight pressure, that's it. So you can see that that's all adhesion there. You're a trooper. <laughs> so you can see here, uh, this is this is the thin membrane behind it. Just lost one of our helpers. <laughs> So that's all adhesion right through there. So just put that down for now. So this is the whole membrane. This is where the opening was. And that's why. So that's why I leave it alone. So if you just leave the opening part, you can go back in and dissect down, and that whole cyst wall is intact, just like that. So now we're just going to pause for one second. I'm going to get some normal saline and clean that all out, and we'll go back to fixing it at close. So all we've done in the interim is I actually flush this out with normal saline. So anytime I have a cyst that ruptures, I just want to make sure it's clean. So this is again, unless you've seen lots of these, it's hard for me to describe to you that there's no membrane that's there. You can see this, this is hypodermis down through here. This all looks very, very clean. And that's just what I want out of it. Because we don't want to have any retained um, membrane because that increases the odds that that can recur. Okay. Here, that's awesome. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to add in a couple dermal stitches. Um, these are, this is a dissolvable material that adds strength. I debate not doing it because we took out a decent sized lesion, um, so it's going to want to close itself up anyway. But where it's at, just to uh, you know give it strength, I think that that's fair. These ones are a little bit harder because uh, I've taken, I've, I've shaved down on the dermis, so it's kind of hard to do it. Now what I tell you when you're doing dermal stitches, um, you got to make sure that you're at the appropriate distance across and the appropriate depth. So this one you go from superficial to deep, and on the other side I'll be going from deep to superficial. So here, and you have to use the AdSense pickups for this. This is the deep. And I'm coming out in the superficial, just like that. And this one you tie like you would, uh, there we go. 
um, like you would a shoe. So this one you don't throw multiple loops. Just one loop, I grab it, and I pull it. Do the same thing here. And this one should cut right at the knot. And depending on how strong I need to be, this is, determines how many of these I'll actually put in. In this particular case, I think two will be more than sufficient. So again, I'm going to go from superficial to deep. So I'm going to go from deep to superficial. So I'll do one loop, I'll grab it, tie it. And you can obviously see already how these add strength, like it's pretty much closed the actual incision. So now these will just be superficial stitches that don't carry any real weight, but just we'll see how this close. Now the one thing where this would be a little bit harder, which is uh, if there's a disservice from the ultrasound, just that if I'd known I was going to do a cyst, I usually would do a, an elliptical incision to take out some of the extra tissue. So there's going to be a little bit of redundancy here because we've taken something of decent size out. So this these tissues will have to relax over the next couple of months to flatten back out. So I want to make sure that's as flat as possible. That's what I'm talking about here, that redundancy a little bit. That's because we've just we've taken out some of the tissue. So how well it lays flat is a little bit of an issue. So I'm just making sure this opposes, the, the base of membranes opposes as best they can. That's why you'll see me poking it back down a little bit. You okay? Yeah. I'm We're almost stiff there. Down. Yeah. Just dab that from here. Mm -hmm.
So now some of this is going to take some time just to seal back down, but the, the margins look pretty good. So we'll just clean that up, and then we'll see him back in 10 to 14 days.